Hej! Jag har kommit på kanal. Mitt namn är Rysp. Och idag ska vi försöka Mafia 2 part 10 att vi kommer på nå. Eh, vi har avslutat här i den eh, Prison Cell-grejen här. Eh, jag följer... Jag följer att det är episod av Prison Break. För att det där är liksom... Det ser jag akkurat ut som Prison Break. Eh, jag husker... Jag vet att vi kom hit på grunn av den ene... Han är en som är sälte de här grejerna på bensinstationen. Eh, Avslutade mig. Eh, men jag husker inte hur länge vi är här, för exempel. Eh, det husker jag inte. Eh, för jag har ju spelat med för två för. Jag har det. Men jag kan bruka bädd eller sänga och så se vad som sker. Åh. Oh. Ja, okej. Okay. Vi brukar sänga och se vad som sker. This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Ok, contact Leo Galante. Han var ju säkert en telefon, tänker jag. Eh, var det telefon? Så so if it were just two years, that would be uh, 730 days. So how many years? Why are you even trying to? He's in stalls again with no chance to survive. Jag är säker här borde det nånsin vara. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So did I. Could pay you back. This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? Oh, okay, okay, now he's got it. Okay, come on. Nah, come on. Oh, how do you? What's up? Step back. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, Counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. 
Ok, så jag vant inte den matchen. Det gjorde jag inte. Mido, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Atta boy, Pepe. Kick that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice kid, nice one. Nice. More of those. <laughs> oh, nice come on. Shit, that had to hurt. <laughs> oh, all right, one more, Vito. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Uh, well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah. Like, five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. I get to know the other guys or leave the Come gym. On, give me another 20. Ah, you can actually believe it. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there. Show him what you made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> okay, so let's go show us what I'm winging a lot of now. Yeah, cover the block collar. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Oh, have you job on? I job is not for the never slots or something. I'm um, so so. so. Men jeg må jo komme meg ut av dette fengselet en gang. Det må jeg.
Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Okay, so I'm sure they get slow saying until then, yeah. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Yeah. Let's go slow saying until. Now the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. <laughs> Nah, okay. That's the way to do it, my brother. Come on, Vito. You gotta do better than that. Yeah. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me harder than that. <laughs> Your little cracker going down. So now, come on. Nah, okay. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. <laughs> so now. Laying down on a job like always. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running for president. Don't worry, Vito. You got him right where you want him. Hope you meatballs get... Now, ball. Ball. grab him and finish him off. Come on now. Fight like a man. All right, kid. Now put his lights on. Oh, so now. All barking, no fight. Yeah. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visit. Oh, I'm visitors. Enten mora eller søstre. Hey. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if you asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito. No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Ok, follow the guard. Det er en, skulle tro det eneste jeg gjør, det er å bare følge etter den eh, vakta. Noen ganger, men.
So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. There you go. Make them sparkle. And hurry it up. Hey, pipe down now. All of us. Okay, ask over the skewer. Oh. Se det der, Shea. Han var ikke noe rene, egentlig, da. Hva er det med deg? Kjøp kleinen, eller annet. Nå står den og pisser akkurat der han vasker, liksom. Takk skal du ha. Ja. Hva er det jeg regner med? Alright, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving. Alright, Skeletta. Get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? Is that my view, Kira? Oh, there. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. Yeah. Hey. 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 This guy's a fighter, huh? So now, come on. Oh. Yeah, da. New level. Oh, the one now. Oh, come on, shoot that. Där, ja. Sånn. Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Where's Frank? Gone, boy. You know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral.
Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! Fellig me up. Nej, kom av av var så sen la. Jag vill inte slåss i det. Thanks, Mary. I don't think so. Try again, little man. Me mind you. Is that all you've got? No guards to save you this. Nej, kom igjen. Nei, å, kom da. Sånn, ja. Nå. Der, vet du. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? You'll have to do better than that, little girl! This time I'll finish! Jeg liker bedre når kameraet er sånn. out just fine they never found out who did it leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell well actually it was more like a suite life was getting better by the minute so vito what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole i don't know i sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for clemente i can tell you that yeah you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard trust me Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rat. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcon. The other? It's Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. The guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about Adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste.
Delante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Det er ikke, nå kommer vi endelig ut igjen. Catch up with Joe, det skal vi gjøre. Jeg var egentlig ikke så lenge i det fengselet som jeg trodde. Men nå er det en del år siden jeg har spilt det siste. Men det tenker jeg også til episoden her, og så snakkes vi i neste video. Takk for meg, og ha det bra.